Sur les petits corps d'eau. Oh, I mean, we're out from underneath the trees. And probably a little bit left, but it should be on the dance floor. Yeah, we're dancing. We're safe. Okay guys, I've just realised I didn't turn my mic on, so you've probably just had a lovely little montage up until now of me just hitting shots, but welcome back to another episode of Every Shot from a 12 Handicappers Round. Today we are at Freelford Heath, which is hosting Open Qualifying next week. So, we're going to answer the ultimate question, what can a 12 Handicapper, a mere mortal of the golfing world, do on a open qualifying venue? Can we score well? I don't know. Our objectives today are going to be make one birdie and shoot under 90. We're gonna play within ourselves. We're currently two over through two holes, which isn't too bad. That first hole was a little bit roped, but actually the second one was as well. But let's get on to the third and see what happens. So here we go, a par four that's 375 yards long, riddled with bunkers, it's tough. Oh, that's a bad swing. Well, it might have cleared the rubbish there. Uh, not particularly pretty, but at least we'll find that one. All right, um, extremely lucky to even have found the ball here. Um, I'm gonna just try and chip it through this gap here. It's the biggest gap I've got, uh, which will leave me a bit of an approach into the green. Just need to keep it low. Right, I'm actually gonna go right here, guys. Just chip it out through the trees. There you go, that's out. Just stay away from that bunker. Get off it. <laughs> all right, it's rolled down the back of the bunker, we're all good. Just over there is our playing partner for the day. He is a pro, but I'll introduce you to him in just a minute. 97 yards in here, straight into the sun. Cannot see it. Oh, it's really good. It's on. All right, we've got 24 foot here. Go! Oh, just on that bogey train. It's all right. It's kind of what I was aiming for today, to be honest. Nice. All right, this uh, pin is 192 yards away. Wind's strong off the left. Oh, that is right. Good, good strike. But... All right. Maybe we can get our first up and down of the day, who knows? So today's playing partner is none other than Huxley. And if you don't know, get to know. His TikTok and his Instagram are down in the description. Very much. Currently, pro. Yes. Playing open qualifying next week. Yes, not here, but this is good prep. This is a, obviously a golf course in open qualifying conditions. So, yep. uh, yeah, no, good practice, but we'll see how it goes. I know, I just literally, I, 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 was, I was pointing you out while you were in the rough. He made par from there, guys. He managed that to, he must have, par. that was the most disgusting <laughs> par. Like, unbelievable. You must have hit, what, 130? I couldn't, I, literally, if I'm in there, I might as well pick up because it that was, is so thick. It was literally as far as I could possibly hit, hit the ball. it. Yeah. yeah no, Left it up short, and down, so. up and down. Just yeah. unreal. There unreal. <laughs> There's levels to this game, people. There's levels to this game. <laughs> Thank you again to Frilford Heath for having us today. This is the red course that we're playing on. And uh, yeah, this is. This is proving a bit of a challenge. I don't know how I've scrambled it around with only bogey so far. I feel like a couple of doubles should be on the card, but you know, we'll take it. Now, this is a really scary shot, guys. We're coming out of the rough, so we're gonna have no spin. 
we go anywhere past the pin, like we're talking like an inch past, we're off the back because it literally just slides away back there. So. Go on, run, run. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. All right, 18 foot for par here. Go ball. Left myself a bit of work. Go. Bogey, 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 bogey. Let's keep getting it going. Long old par four, this one at 425 yards. It's the third hardest on the course. Oh, I'll go through the tree. Okay, I've seen it drop. Oh, such a bad swing. Not great here, guys, right in the cut grass. I think this might even just be like, get it back on the fairway, to be honest. Oh my God, I've pulled it so hard left. Bah! Well, that's just gone from potentially bad to gone. Let's try and put it in the fairway this time, eh? Maybe in a bunker. Oh, over, over the it. bunker. He's over it. And I'm past Huckley's ball, finally. <laughs> <laughs> Three shots and I've got past his drive. All right, we've got to get this on now. 102 to the flag. Pulled it a little bit, but it should be about the right length. It's got to be a long putt to keep our bogey strike alive though. Okay, we've got a 36 footer here, just coming off the fringe. Giving it a chance. Yeah, better pace. Good pace. Good pace. Just... Yeah, limit the damage there. Next up we have a 500 yard par five, which is downwind. Let's see what happens. That's better. Yeah, it's better. Oh, That's big bounce. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, you're in a fairway. All right, we've got like 200 in here. Decent lie in the rough. Hey, that could work. That's got to go. Big bounce. Could work. Run, run, run. It is. It's going. Oh, hello. Get on. Oh, oh my goodness this. me. That's it now. Go in. It might go in. Oh, oh, behind the flag. Oh my God, I've actually got a really good eagle chance. <laughs> Flipping, hey, what is that about? All right, so me and Huxley both Putting for an eagle, this but I believe. You are would, closer. I mean, that's a one in a million shot, I won't lie. That means that my five eye, which usually goes like 195 tops, has got about 218. So. I mean, it might have pitched like 50 yards back. It's 50 yards back and it chased so hard. Um, I'm happy, but this I think would make it my fifth or sixth ever eagle. So let's then. see if we can roll it home. Let's roll it in. Go ball. Go ball. Go! Oh, agony. Great attempt. I thought it was just going to drip that way at the end. Hey, listen, you're off the par train. Yeah, you're one under, are. aren't you now? One under now, yeah. One Lovely. Under. Come on. Don't get many chances like this, that's for sure. It's just going to turn a little bit down to the left. About 12 foot. Come on, for the eagle. Oh, oh right, you know what? We've checked off one of our objectives, though. We've made a birdie. Tap birdie. Big, big, big moment. It's comeback season, baby. Par four here, 406 yards. Let's make it ours. All right, sadly, we've now got to face facts. We're now into wind rather than being downwind like we were on that par five. And it's a long one. Um, bunkers are kind of in driver range, so don't really want to mess around with that. Going to go hybrid. Oh, stop turning. Stay safe. Yeah, that's fine there. Trying to stay true to myself here. We're so far away, I can't really go for it. I could if I pulled out like hybrid or something, but we're coming out of the rough. I, I mean, I think that this is like a layup. Just get myself out, have a nice easy shot in. Well, I mean, stop. Not a great shot, but we've laid up. Just watching Huxley is like crazy. He is so good. The way he strikes the ball is crazy. It comes out and makes that noise, that noise as the ball just like flies through the air every time. All right, 95 in here, coming out the rough. We do not need to hit this too hard. Pins right at the back. Anywhere on the dance floor is the result. 
Go a little bit. No, we're not now. He's all right, he's going to run out. Yeah, it ran out nicely on the green, so we're all right. Okay, we've got a 30 footer here. I've jammed that. It's got to hit the pin. Okay. Oi! Jammed it. Yeah, that was good. Save the bogey again. Tricky putt that was. This is the hardest hole on the course for a reason, guys. It is downwind, which is its saving grace, but it is long. For a par four, it's 469 yards. Not only that, but it's tight. Um, so I am going to play it like a par five. If we hit a great hybrid down there, you never know. We might catch it. It might go a mile. Great strike. Yeah, caught that one well. Yeah, nice. That should be all right. Just got to be careful those. Yeah, no, we're fine. We're in the oh, middle yeah, of the fairway. Yeah, nice. You can get blocked out. I remember from the last time I played here that you can get blocked out by those trees and have an absolute nightmare shot in for the second. Right. Feels very similar to the, uh, the shot on the par five, guys. This one out of the rough. Just got a bit more to contend with this time because we've got a tree down there. But we've got about 220 to the green, so. Yeah, I caught that nicely. Yeah, sure. If it bounces left, we're good. Has tried. It's going. There's no way that's made the it's, green, no, surely it's not. It's on. <laughs> it's no. on. Okay. Got 40 foot for a birdie. Very wristy. Just wristed that one. Oh, I just never turned. Did hit my line, so I can't complain. Just misread it. There we go. It's a bogey. All right, we've got 177 into this pin. Wind's into a little bit. Ah, oh, damn it. It's turning way, way left. It's actually clipped a tree. He's down, he's in the rough. Yeah. Now I have actually played this course before, but it was a long time ago and it was actually part of a scramble event. We were doing, uh, there was a charity day for Tackle Africa um, and they'd had the entire road course booked out for the event. We played the scramble. Uh, you can actually see this video on the Absolute Bandits channel if you want to go back and watch it. Um, we ended up shooting six under on the day. I think we're the only one of two teams that went under par as a scramble on this course because it was very much like not, not a serious event. It was like obviously for charity. Um, but with our handicaps, we ended up going, I think, 18 under par. And when we picked up the winning, well, we won. And when we picked up the prizes at the end, we got booed in the clubhouse. I think that might have had something to do with the fact that the team name was also Absolute Bandits, so it didn't really help. But um, yeah, really good course. Actually, this one here, last time I played it, had a gym bar on it, which I won't lie, I would say it's a slight improvement. They should probably think about making that a permanent fixture here. 39 yards to the pin, going to aim left of target. Bounce right. That is, well, I mean, it probably would have just been, <laughs> been pin eye, but it's definitely pin left by a mile. Oh, this one's going to snap right hard, I think. Stay up. Stay up! Oh my god, that is so fast. Holy! <laughs> turn in. Wow, it just did not turn. I think I might have overread it because of how much it turned on the way down. Tough hole, that is. That's a double to finish off the front nine. Longish par five next. Uh, quite a Tricky tee shot if you want to hit driver though. Uh, that bunker is 250 to carry on the right. Um, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to hit hybrid, lay up in front of it, and just have a longer couple of shots in. Right, yeah, that's fine. Because literally you might even get to the bunker now. Oh no, there we go, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Just in the rough, on the right side of the fairway. Right, we're coming out the rough here, just going to hit seven iron. A little pulled, but it should be all right. Yeah, decent bounce. I think it's fairway bound, guys. Oh, imagine hitting approach from the fairway. That is mental. All right, we've got 132 into this pin. It's kind of into wind, though, so taking a 9-9 nine -nine here. Nice strike. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Oh, my oh. God, it's short. That wind. That wind. <laughs> Holy smokes. 23 yards here, looks like it slopes a little bit to the side. I'm gonna try and pick a spot on this one. 
God, this place is immaculate, by the way, guys. It's unreal. Oh, there's a chance. There is a chance. Go. Ah, left it low. That is a bogey to start the back nine. Little par three, 156 to the flag. Just gonna take a full eight at it. Oh, that is such a bad swing, holy smokes. All right, up and down required from over in the rough, up by the green. An interesting one here, I won't lie. Um, kind of like a turtle back green. So I'm gonna aim left of the pin. We're just trying to get it on here. And then give ourselves a chance at par. Go. Well, that is so lucky. It's worked out really well. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a little putt to go in, one to drop, you know. A little 12 foot here. <laughs> wow, that looked good as well. Uh, that was all right. I hit my line again. I think it might just be not reading them particularly well. It's a bogey. <laughs> Can you believe it? We've got an absolute behemoth of a par four. It's into wind, it's 474 yards long. How is SI8? Oh, hang on a sec, I'm reading the wrong one. It's SI4, that makes more sense. That is a terrible strike, but it'll work. Bounce left. Right in it? Ooh. Is that right there or not? Um, it should be, I think it's all right. It's only just over that. Right, uh, just a lay up here. Just gonna hit seven iron down there. Oh dear. That's a really good layup. Well, it is a layup. <laughs> Definitely a layup. <laughs> Definitely a layup. I'm not sure I like laying up. Feels like I always hit my worst shots when I'm trying to lay up as well. Right, pins at the front. Wind's just shifted, so it's right in my face. It's 133 away. Uh, I'm actually going to hit an eight iron at it. Don't want to come up short. I'd much rather be putting than be short here. Oh, I pulled it. Oh, hold on, just grab a piece. Sit. Yeah. All right. We're putting. We've got 48 foot here. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster. Now catch the slope and go. Please get there. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. God. <laughs> okay. All right with minimal damage. Funny tee shot this one, dog leg to the left, 355 yards. Seems like it shouldn't be too difficult. Oh Lord. Oh Lord, that is some, that is in some thick stuff. Unfortunately guys, my ball was deep in there. Um, so I have had to take unplayable. So sadly, I'm playing my third shot here. Oh, <laughs> and we almost killed Huxley, and we're just short of the bunker. Got snagged up a little bit. I feel like the round might be just getting away from me a little here. 68 yards. Let's see if we can get this one close-ish. That was good. Oh wow! Oh my God! It's landed <laughs> on the front edge of the green. It's now, I'd say probably about 15 foot past. <laughs> right, little 18 footer up the hill, little bogey. Good pace. A decent weight. Just didn't quite read it right. Yeah. Double, nice. oi, oi, oi. There's not many of these out here. We've got a short par four here. Let's see if we can make up for some of the damage we've done. Lost it right again. Hold on. It's bouncing. Right I think there might be a bit of space up there. Yeah. It's got about 110, 115 to the middle. Got a pitching wedge in hand. That's a good strike, that one. I might have to sit. Nah. What the? That was a, that was a flyer. 
That has gone miles. That what perfect. the absolute F. It sounded okay. like a fly as soon as you did it. <laughs> that's had a massive bounce as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, that's, that is the best, like, like literally the only shot that I've been like, oh yeah, that's definitely going to be right at the heart of the green. There's no way it cannot be on the green. <laughs> <laughs> the pitching wedge has probably got, what, 140 now, 145, which I've never seen on, the, on like, the tracers ever. I mean, the exact same thing's happened to Hux, he's gone long. But this, <laughs> this is a joke, guys. That is long. This is long. How much space have I got with this tree behind me? Probably just enough. Maybe just trying to stun it into that bank, carry it most of the way there. Sit. Sit. Oh, too much. Might even go off the front, go on, for the bants. Oh, we're playing ping pong, it's off the front. All right, I'm probably further away now than I was on the last shot, guys. Yeah, good shot. Go off the back, go on, for the bands. Yeah, great shot. Thank you. Oh my God, dove off the face. Just literally, the course has got me by the absolute bollocks right now. It's unbelievable. Okay. All right, it's a double. Sadly, I think our aim of shooting under 90 might be about to come to an end. Currently 17 over, it's past 72, so we need to uh, effectively par, par in. in. Par in, mate. Which is it's hilarious to say because I've not actually made a par <laughs> all day long. <laughs> That's my best drive of the day yeah, as well. Yeah, very nice. Best shot of the day, that drive, I think. Um, got 115 to the pin with downwind. Got a 50 degree in hand. Oh, I've hit that one good as well. See the number. Yes. How the fuck, how's that happened? Oh my God, I've landed. I've pitched on the front of the green and it's gone to the back. I think my main objective now is to make one par. Put it on the objective list. We've got. 90 foot for birdie. Bearing in mind my 50 degree landed or pitched short of the Fiat flag, I'm now like 90 foot past. I'm gonna need that to start turning in and keep on going. Good pace. Turn in a bit. The pace is good, but I've still got a bit of a meaty part. <laughs> Oh, I don't like this game anymore. Oh, God. <sighs> don't need to hit drive here, but we hit it well. And when we hit something well, we go and keep on doing it until it no longer works. Yeah, good ball. That'll do. That's going to go in the bunker, I think. Ah, uh, way over it. Oh, yeah, the first one. I thought I might make the second one. Uh, yeah, no, he's fine. Kidding. <laughs> Pin placement's a little bit scary here, guys, because there's just a sheer face on the left-hand side of it. So we're going far right of it. 57 yards to the pin. I'll put it straight in the bunker and I get lucky. Sometimes I hate myself. Sit now. Yeah, we're putting. I feel a bogey coming. Got to be very gentle with this one. Very gentle. Weight's good. Oh, just about. Made a bogey. Yeah, great shot. Yeah. Best of the day, that is. Caught that one well. Best of the day. Yep, happy days. It's on there. It's rolling up. We've actually got a genuine birdie chance, yeah, I think. Shot. All right, legit chance for birdie here. Oh, oh. quick. 
Make the paw, make the paw, make the paw, make the paw. Yes, made we a made a paw, get in. Made Check it off, baby. All right, this is a tricky one, guys. You don't need a driver here. There's this wall that runs up the left-hand side and behind it's the car park. So behind those trees are all the cars. Um, it's not a long hole, gonna hit a seven iron. Just try and keep it in the fairway. Have a shot into the green on the next one. Turn in, please turn. Please turn. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, Just have a long shot in from the rough. Yeah. Hopefully the final iron shot here. 135 playing 138 up. We have got a bit of wind kind of hurting. So got nine iron in hand. Pins at the front as well, so. That's not very good, it's very right. Jesus, has that gone out the back? Might have done, yeah. How has that gone long? Okay guys, it's that time of the video. You need to rate me out of 10 on the following categories, driving, iron play, chipping, and then of course, putting. How do you think I fared? on an open qualifying venue. Couldn't unfortunately play off the back back tees because they're not even laid out. But this is pretty much as close to a test as you could probably ever hope to face. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Of course, big thanks to Hux for setting up the day. And if you want to go and check him out, go show him some love, show him some support for his open qualifying journey that he's about to take as well. Then make sure you check out his links down in the comment section. Let's get this thing in the hole. All right, not too long just looked a lot longer. Oh, I've caught it thin. Slow down. Just wanted to punish myself one, one last time here. Just by hitting that one thin through the back. Yeah, it's a nice chip that. Yeah, it's a decent chip that. Maybe we could finish off with a one putt. That is pathetic. Much like some of my moments during this round. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. My score is on the screen. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.